frame it and put it up on the wall. I'll do it. I support right. this dude. The ball's in your court, <laughs> Sharp, because there's the Greninja. Let's see that Greninja, man. Let's see that Greninja going to play. But yeah, we're going to be getting Sharp taking on Frog here, starting on Smashville. Oh, never mind. Uh, That's uh, town, town and city, city, my dude. I thought it was a lot smaller at first. I got I got really, uh, really confused. Well, already off to a decent start from Frog. 33% built up, but Yeah, sharp. Frog taking on the Frog. I just realized. <laughs> Shut up. You, did, you didn't have to say that. Oh, you would have said it at some point. You would have felt so proud of yourself. I would. I've never felt proud of myself in my life, Skip, and you know that. <laughs> Thank God, man. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into this, right? So far, it uh, looks like Sharp's just trying to, you know, figure some things out here a little bit. Trying to get it uh, warmed up. But uh, right now, not looking too bad. But Frog is definitely uh, having a little bit of the uh, the early lead here. It's not like Frog is running away with it, right? Only about 32% separating <laughs> both players. But at the moment, it's definitely Frog in the driver's seat. It's them deciding when to approach, when to back off, when to reset to neutral. And it's really just sharp... Coming along Ooh, for the ride. Yeah, who, who, ride. Who's in charge? Who's running? Who's me, running this right now? Who's me, got the momentum in their me. favor? I am. I am because it's the commentator's curse that decides everything. <laughs> who do you think you are? I am. Uh, Shout out to that video. One of the greatest yep. pop-offs in a bowling match ever. <laughs> Stiff. What's up? Anyway, hey, we're gonna be watching uh, Sharp continue to try and find a way to put this damage down. That was a good opening, a good first stock too. Uh, started off with a little bit of trouble against Frog, but uh, finding a way to take that first stock, taking the lead here, looking pretty decent. Hey Skiff, which Frog are you talking about? Uh... Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's it's great I'm when I say it. It, when you say it, yeah. Wait, well, <laughs> I don't think anybody should be proud of what you say. <laughs> No, All right, yeah. pretty, good bats within. Good bats within. Going to be able to put uh, Frog into a dangerous spot. Has to retreat. See where it goes from here. Ooh, okay. Getting a little bit of damage. I think Sharp knows one kill confirmed. He's looking for it really hard because he really wants that uh, confirm into up smash. Yeah, I think it's just kind of uh, trying to figure out exactly what's going to be happening uh, when he lands certain moves on the Frog. Because it's kind of just trying to figure out um, what Frog's trying to do. Uh, you know, how they're going to react to certain things. Oh, it's just a raw forward smash to call out wow. that uh, APK. Yeah, no, that was that was beautiful. Um, Sharp going to go up an entire stock now. I just... Um, and at the moment, at least for now, forcing Frog off stage. Not going to be a Bayo SD quite yet, but it was looking like it might be for a, the briefest of seconds, Skiff. Ooh. Okay, ooh. Dude, he's definitely you finding can, these, uh, these you down can tilts. See, like. You can see the gears of Sharp's brain turning as he figures out what the hell is this character. Ooh! That uh -oh. was almost nasty. At the moment, Sharp actually really holding on to this lead. Doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Pushing Frog Ooh. back to the down smash. Not oh, going to get the smash this time as the bat within saves his life, <laughs> his life again. Nice. Holding These... on by the barest thread. Yeah, no, that's actually kind of crazy. Good stuff, though. That's that's part of the reason why I think, like, Bayonetta... One of the reasons why Bayonetta is definitely still a lot better than people give Bayonetta credit for. Like, I know a lot of people like to say, oh, can't kill, but, like... Oh. Hello? I think uh, that's just us. Skiff, what did you do? You know, I'm just chilling out. Yeah, but anyway, so like, uh, I think I think the fact that like Bayonetta alone, just having bats within as a mechanic, whether as consistent or not as it is, like people can can make it consistent. They just got to work at it. But Sorry. that mechanic alone is busted. Vance here really quick. I really love the way La says, Skiff, what did you do? Because this is such a Drake and Josh moment where he's like, Drake, where's the door? It's like literally, <laughs> it's, I literally just picture La like, Skiff, where's the stream? <laughs> yeah, and I can I can absolutely imagine Skiff trapping us in purgatory for decades on end, you know, or a couple. Of I had I had a follow up joke to that, but I'll I'll leave that for uh, for off stream. <laughs> Do it. No. Uh, hey, it, there we Howard. go. We're gonna see Sharp getting the. Uh... <laughs> We're gonna see Sharp getting. <laughs> All right, Sharp. Tell us tell us in chat how you ended that game. Oh man. I imagine we probably saw another smash attack of some sort. 
It was, you know, it was probably a kill move. Um, and Frog wow. probably died. Out, wait, you know, it could be an SD. It could be an SD. <laughs> You're right. Oh, You're right, man. and I kind of hate to admit that. Right. In any oh. case, that is going to be Sharp going up 1-0 in the set. It was down, down smash. smash. Okay. So we had a we had an up smash first stock, a uh, forward smash up second smash. stock, a down smash on the third stock. Sharp, go Pokemon Trainer. All right, trainer. what character next? Can we Pokemon please have trainer. PG Sharp? Pokemon please. Trainer, Sharp. Sharp, Pokemon Trainer. Sharp Do actually it. has a decent Pokemon Trainer. I know he I'm... does. I've seen it. Sharp has a decent everything. Um, I do believe. Me Brawler is oh god, me dude. Brawler. Okay, no but hey, me Brawler. Me Brawler. Listen, no. me, me Brawler. Me Brawler. Low key, low key, probably high tier, low key. <laughs> high key, probably low tier. <laughs> dude, I love nothing more than the optimism that me Brawler. This, by the way, this was one hundred percent Tifa. This was th this Brawler is absolutely Tifa. Knowing well, sharp. we'll see. We'll see. Who knows? Three, yep. Two, Yep, good stuff. <laughs> I knew it. All right, well, hey, let's see uh, where it all goes, man. Um, we're going to see uh, what moves they have. Uh, so right now they got the 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 ball as well. So that that's the first thing. I think that's actually a really solid move, too, because like, like that. Like, it's that, like, yeah. It's like a Patui that only has one angle. <laughs> yeah, um, but it is really good for keeping enemies stuck on legend. A great parry into down tilt for Sharp. Even for the world with that up there. And, Ooh, okay, flying side, Lotus. Side B is Flying Lotus, and the up B is... Or Primary Lotus, that's what it is. Flying Lotus is, a, is, a, is an artist. That, that's a music artist. <laughs> oh, you, you, got me, you got me messed up. And a down B is BSS. Okay. Honestly, probably, I probably got the, uh, the uppercut for the up special. It's, it's Axe Kick for up special. Oh, is it? Yeah, we saw it a second ago. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I, I really don't watch the, the games when I play. <laughs> When you or play, when I, play. When, I, when I cast, I'm all over the place. You don't even look, you don't even think about like what you're saying. You just say dude. Words. I literally yeah. built my entire commentary career on just talking and saying things. People are like, yeah, right on. <laughs> you disgust me. All right, but hey, anyway, we're gonna see a back throw from Sharp there, trying to get the uh, the ball going. Not gonna be able to connect it. And that's okay, the thing. Is, so me, me brother actually has some pretty solid moves. So like this honestly is gonna be a bit dangerous. Like right there, that yeah. back. That back, you're gonna be able to blow up that stock. So, me brawler, like you were saying, has some some like some tools. Like back air is a great kill option. Nair is really good as both an anti air and an out of shield option because I believe it's frame five or six. Um, they've got like the the different B moves, and this is a very solid lineup of B moves, especially with like flip kick being. I don't know if it's actually called flip kick, but it basically is flip. It's kick. a flip kick. It's a flip kick. Yeah, flip click, flip flip kick turning Whoa! this character. <laughs> He pops way up there. Sea cells, she sells by the seashore. <laughs> you even said that wrong. Dude, that's fine, man. But we, I'm just trying to make you feel better that we both going to mess some things up when she we talk. She sells seashells by the seashore. See, I can do that right, but I can't do the actual <laughs> you commentary. Can't say, you can't say foot kick. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's the case. And as KK oh, Slider man. says goodnight, mm -hmm. Sharp looking to make Frog do the same, but can't quite find the bowling ball to the Ooh. brain. Yep, tried to get that uh, axe kick going, but not going to be able to connect here. But still, uh, Sharp's sitting in a pretty good spot. You know, it can put a lot of good damage down. Me Brother, again, has some pretty strong moves. So it's just kind of a matter of getting this going. All right, I, I'm going to be real. I don't care that it's called faint jump. I'm going to call it flip kick. It's a flip. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Man, that sucks. <laughs> Bayo sucks, dude, and that's gonna be a parry oh. up smash for Sharp to take the stock. Mhm. Mm All right, hey, let's see if Frog can find a way to make a bit of a comeback here. This is definitely a bit tough. Skiff, I just realized something. Axe Kick has suicide potential. Yep. <laughs> okay. No, oh, not, not quite. Not suicide quite. yet, but I like literally right as I was saying it, I was like, did Sharp really just? That would have been that would have been a great commentary moment. But you know, you and I, we've had some pretty crazy things lately. Like remember um the last 2DG ladder with <laughs> Beast Mode Paul? Beast Mode Paul, yeah. <laughs> Beast Mode Paul's my hero, dude. Dude, right. how did Beast Mode Paul do in this bracket? Because I know he was here. Maybe he, uh, he was out like 17th or something. I don't know. It's gonna be a know. side B, and now we are at nearly even percent. Uh -oh, Only 12 spot. separating. <gasps> <gasps> Sharp went for the soul read, oh but it's just gonna be a run-up up smash. 
Looking like the Fox special right there. He Charger said one, up, two. Bro. He said one, two, dash back, dash forward, dash back, dash forward, up smash. <laughs> God, dude. He had, yeah. he, dude, he had Frog nervous. He had Frog scared. <laughs> Sharp read his roll, but misinputted and still got the kill. Uh... Who is next? Sharp, I just want to see your Sheik, man. I'll oh, be Beast Mode Paul DQ'd. That's really unfortunate. Oh. But we but had Bruho in bracket, right? Yeah, let's yeah. go, Bruho. Yeah, Sharp, I'm going to be real with you. I just want to I just want to see the Sheik. I like the Sheik. I do like Sharp Sheik. Regardless of uh, what? Why? Is there something wrong with Sheik? I like Dude, Sheik. I just, I just like Sheik. I'm going to be honest. All right, Sharp, hold on, I got you. Play banjo. Have... <laughs> Let's see the banjo. Yeah, oh, banjo. Oh my God, Skiff. So a little bit of background. Skiff and I were playing some friendlies before, uh, before I commentary began. Banjo. And yeah, banjo exists and is a character that I don't like. Mm-hmm. Banjo. I think he's going banjo. What's wrong with What's wrong with Sheik? Why is he asking for me to get banned for saying Sheik? I don't know. Maybe, uh... Oh, Sharp says he knows exactly who he, who he's going, and I hope he does. It'd be kind of concerning. He's gonna hit. He's gonna hit the random. <laughs> I don't know exactly who I'm going. going. Jake, oh, Jake, I'm aware that I am not what could be called good at this game, but they let me on the mic anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, man. That's, that's the reason why we're on commentary, man. It's because I love you guys. About. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We know what we're about. Okay. It's Falco. Okay, I'm 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 okay with this. Ooh, okay. So look, I love watching Falco, but if I ever run into a Falco on quick play, win or I lose, done them. I I, I, done them. I do not go back into it. I hate fighting Falcos, man. <laughs> I have never rematched a Falco, and that is on God. Oh my God, but dude, I love watching people fight Falco because Falco does some pretty cool stuff. I does some pretty cool Ugh. stuff, like getting witch twisted. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Well, there's actually some final. really wait. So there's some really dangerous potential that I just realized with Falco in this matchup, mm -hmm. uh, and that's that Neutral B is very, very good at stealing jumps. Bayo relies a lot on her jump to get back to stage. Mm, so that if Sharp is true. manages to steal jump when off stage by using Falco laser. Uh, Frog could find themselves in a, in a spot of bother to say the least. It's gonna be spot dodge up tilt, up tilt, up tilt. It is the cutscene for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, it's all like uh, those CQC uh, quick time events that you see, like a <laughs> just in some video games and stuff like that. It's not Except even it's a quick just one time side. Event. It's, it's just one side. Scene. Yeah, <laughs> it's straight up like, an unskippable cutscene that you have to. Do want to give a, a big quick shout out though to KK Slider with the the KK cruising in the background, man. This song is real nice. I like this song a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong one. All right, there we go. Big there opening. Ooh! Yep. They're using the laser to its fullest extent, and now 3.5% separating the two players. Looking for the down <laughs> smash. Oh my god, why did that work? <laughs> because Frog just no, tried it's to... the hands-off. He did the hands-off mic. <laughs> I, really? I, I don't even know if I can say it, but he did it. Hands off Vance, what? Can I, can, I say, can I say it on this stream? Oh my god, yeah. Make sure you ask Dad if you can say the, cur uh, the curse word on stream. <laughs> I'm, I I don't want to get too too deeply hurt. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, it's okay. There we go. It. Okay, I won't say it. <laughs> so we're gonna see. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna see Frog take the stock right back. We're gonna see Frog fight over. There we go. Taking a nice little percentage lead right there. Putting on a good twenty four percent. Ooh. Okay. Hands off my prey. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say it. I'm like, last. What are you doing? <laughs> I was I it, I was just thinking about it. You know. I can't stop thinking about it, you know? Okay, we can, we can let this conversation go. Okay. We can, we can let, really okay. let this conversation go. If you say so. You're starting to push. Oh, that could have been dangerous. <laughs> oh, that's something I just realized, man. Uh, with how high Bayonetta like, tends to go sometimes, um, Sharp can really just go meet him out there. <laughs> yeah, no, Falco definitely has the mobility to just say, this is not your domain. Mm -hmm. I fly high in the sky too. This should be the stock, but it's not going to be. Not gonna be uh, able to get the backer. Ether should do it. Yeah, there it goes. Mhm. Mm yeah, good stuff. The frog right now taking control of the game, taking the second stock. But uh, ooh, 
Put a little bit of damage, put a little bit of damage on that final stock, but we're gonna have to see uh, Sharp kind of start to make a bit of an effort here, unless he unless he wants to drop this game. That's all I'm saying. I mean, he is currently up 2-0 in the set, and he is letting Chat pick his characters. So I don't know what you expected, but I honestly I wasn't <laughs> expecting a 3-0. Sharp and... really just uh, went up, stared at him dead, like point blank, right in the face. Oh, okay, another pass within. Oh, this could be a huge opening. No, gonna fall out. What? Are you... He's just pushing him forward. Sharp, or sorry, Frog's use of bat within has been phenomenal throughout the bracket. Mm. Almost always, like in any situation where it's applicable, it's being put into use. But sometimes it's just not enough. Like if a character like Falco, Falco definitely has the potential to follow up even after a move gets uh, gets avoided with Bat Within. But there's not going to be the chances. That's going to be Frog closing it out with a back air for the two stock. Man, yeah, should have won. Uh, should have won Banjo. Should have won Banjo. No, I don't want to see Banjo. Should have won Banjo. Hands, hands off his prey. You know what? You know what? What? Play Bayonetta, Sharp. No. <laughs> let's see the, let's no. see the bayonetta. You know. <laughs> just, just pull no. out the play. Just pull out the bayonetta. No. Play like CSS or Joker. Play like one of the cool characters. I was going really to say go Marth. Go Marth. That's a If I go I Bayo, I'll be executed. He's go, right. I, I would say Marth. Go 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 Marth. Sharp. Marth. Why, why play no, Marth with Lucina's see, right there? Like I want to see, I want to see Sharp's Marth. cool characters. I want to see ZSS and Joker, dude. Okay, you want to see other Jigglypuff play Sonic. time? Jesus Christ! Let's go. Actually, Jigglypuff does a pretty good Jigglypuff job against does Bayonetta. Mayo, and I hate that. Yeah, dude. Uh, I am actually pretty okay with this. And speaking of uh, Jigglypuff, hey, big shout outs to Base Mage making a huge run today at the Ryugan Court host up too. Base Mage is inhuman, straight up. Yeah, like that. Yeah, honestly. That, I've, I've, if you've ever watched Base Mage's streams, he doesn't even watch the game that he's playing. He literally, like, will be reading and talking to chat while zero to deathing someone. Hey, you know, imagine if he just made effort, you know? <laughs> yeah, ima imagine if we got to the point where it just goes, and now he will try. And now and Base he Mage will try. Just, Base Mage is just number one. All right, well, anyway, we're going to get the old Sleepy Tom Jigglypuff out here going to Smashville. We're going to see our good friend KK Slider in the back once again. It's a good old, actually, Sunday now. It's no longer really Saturday. Well, Saturday night in California. Yeah, it's Saturday night on Vance's Switch. So yeah, Live from California, <laughs> it's Saturday night. <laughs> live from Vance's Switch. All right, but anyway, uh, right now we're going to see Frog putting on a good little bit of percentage so far. There we go, Sharp. dancing around, putting some good stuff on it. This could be trouble. No, got to fall right out of it. It's unfortunate. Sharp struggling a little bit to get something started, and that's really where the crux of this matchup is, is that once Puff gets in, they have the opportunity to kill Bayo pretty quickly and pretty easily. Like, we saw, uh, we or sorry, we've seen, like, the, uh, like, fair carry off off stage out of pound time and time again, but it actually has to be initiated first. Um, and Sharp is currently having trouble getting past the wall of bears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh, you know what? That was actually, that could have been really sick. They did actually get the uh, the down air. That was, that was pretty nice. It got like the back hit of the, of the drill. It wasn't, it wasn't the good hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think, uh, I, I, I can't even like speculate on what Sharp is doing wrong. Because he's not like, yeah, he's, he's just, he's just sharp, dude. He's doing sharp things. I think sharp is, uh, it's he's just He's just tired. not smashing back and forth, bro. Dude, Sharp, Sharp's played a lot of Smash Bros today. He's probably just tired here, man. He does, he does need to take a little bit of a rest, you know, relax a little bit, take a break. Maybe that's just what it is, you know? Uh, maybe, but I... Maybe he's like he's picking Puff because he empathizes with the character and their need to sleep often. Uh, that's gonna be up there through the maybe. through the platform and a potential stock here and there it goes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Goodbye. See you later. Second stock for Sharp. Uh, Frog looking pretty good. Looking like he's gonna take this game four. You know yeah, what the problem I, is here? The problem is that Sharp willingly counterpicked into a losing matchup. Uh. Not that. It's that uh, even if Frog is able to swing this all around and take this game and the next game, um, I feel like there's probably a little bit of a, 
like a mental mental like wear just because like it, he i'm sure frog can tell that that sharp is not taking this seriously right now <laughs> well sharp just lost uh this game or not if frog's gonna do that uh this is just bm city dude well i mean that's kind of happened from both players let's be honest that's what i'm saying we're in bm city like they're they're both bming this is smashville uh, I'm going to end you. <laughs> You've made that threat so many times, dude. Yeah, and I'll make good on it at the first offline event. <laughs> well, hey, uh, Bayonetta making good on that back air, closing out that final stock in game four. We're going to see Sharp going into a game five with yet another character. Totally going to play Ridley. Um, because Ridley actually is what got them into this scenario. Uh, not here. Actually, yes, here. They won the last two games against, uh, Amante using Ridley. So I would actually, you know, that Ridley, you know, probably going to come out right here. Totally, totally making a big, big call here. Definitely going to play Ridley Sharp. Ridley? Sharp, Sharp, I'll sub to your stream for the Joker. I just, I just, <laughs> I want it, I want it over. Huh? You know? Oh, we'll find out. We'll find out. Ooh, watch, watch oh, okay. Pro Wrestling. That's right. Yeah, dude, That's NJPW fair. is going on, man. Listen. All right, Sharp. Go like Listen. Link or something. Listen, Kota Ibushi? That dude is insane, man. He's like 30, 34, 30 something years old. And the guy's like absolutely built athletic as hell. That dude is sick. Are you scared? What? What do you want? Whoa! Huh? That's crazy, Sharp. I don't know why you would talk to me like that. Kota Ibushi? Why? What's wrong with Kota Ibushi? I have oh, no yeah, idea, that's dude. right. No, no, no. Kota, Kota Ibushi actually took the uh, took the double belt, the Intercontinental NJ NJPW Championship off of uh, Tetsuya Naito, which, as you can see in Sharp's name, Naito Sharp, uh, that is like his favorite wrestler. Um, dude, there we I go. Don't... We are going to see the oh. Joker. Well, I guess I'm shoving, shoving, subbing the Sharp stream after this. Yeah. But, uh... I mean, well, let's see. Let's see if um, let's see if Sharp can channel a little bit of Tetsuya Naito's championship run here through his Joker to put down some devastating moves. Rich. Listen, don't worry about it. Just let me do my thing. All right, watch watch some wrestling, okay? Get cultured a little bit. No. All right, there what? we go. Both these players gotta put down some pretty good damage. About twenty five percent for both. Right now. Already try to get off to a good start, but Sharp doing a great job of catching him, lacking on the shield, rolling right on through. Mm -hmm. Try to catch the landing on the platform with the up air, but not quite able to do it. Good nair out of shield, though. Uh, and already off to a much, much better start than any of his other characters were. But so far, Frog dude. to the moon. Yeah, Arsene but we got Arsene out. in play now. Oh, that's not going to be the stock, but a bit. it sure will feel like it's close. One one big hit with Arsene. Like, Rar back air here would have done it if he had managed to connect with it. Um, especially on Town and City with the closer side blast zones. Sharp definitely could take this stock very soon and also could lose this stock very soon, especially mm -hmm. losing the benefit of Arsene. <laughs> hey, let's go. Uh, Frog now doubling their power. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. They're unlocking their full power now. So we'll have to see. It is a Bayo set, guys. We are on the board here. There comes the back air to even up the stocks. <laughs> I um, have several questions. Oh, man. And all of them are why. Oh, dude, Sharp talking in, in the chat mid-game. Sharp is literally talking in chat mid-game. That is... That is a thing. That Ooh. is a thing that is happening. What is hey, this that, set, Skiff? Uh, you know, it's it's just another situation of Yumi doing commentary in 2GG. <laughs> just, just the craziness comes out. Uh, just a classic, you know, regular Smash 2G uh -oh. sponsored 2GG ladder that Sharp gets laddered up to the top last minute, but still manages to survive by doing that good old strategy Ooh. of holding straight down. And going for that down throw fair. Not able to connect with it quite yet, though. Down throw yeah, that, up here should take the stock. stock. Damn, that's crazy. And uh, we're going to see uh, Daddy Arsene go away. But yeah, mid-game mid typing Arr. continues from the start. You know what? Stop. It's just nothing nothing but a little bit of after-hours Smash Bros with yours truly, Skiff, 
and his great buddy Lass on the 2GG, man. We're going to get a little bit I'll of ASMR Vance. going on. We're going to be, yeah, oh, Vance, Vance here. Yeah, Vance is here. Vance showing up. We're going to be doing a little bit yeah. of ASMR to close off into, the rest of this set. Yeah. Now, you do it. sounds weird, man. <laughs> we're going in there. We're going to. <laughs> you sound like you're tired. You sound like we're going you're so into tired. ASMR mode right here. So we're. Uh, you, you sound know, like you're I haven't about to slept fall asleep. in. I haven't slept in years, and neither of you. So you are oh. going to fall right into a nice little slumber alongside me. Oh, okay, okay. Well, hey, let's let's see what happens as uh, we get to the rest of this game right now. Frog Dude, this set is, is so weird. I don't. This is a very weird set. This is definitely a a sharp is done carrying set. The sharp wants to go watch wrestling set, set and I think Skiff does too. Um, what? Oh no! I I usually just catch NJPW uh, after everything else happens because uh, usually when, the, when no when their big shows go off it's usually around like four in the morning for us and I just don't have the time for that. But right now, Sharp has the opportunity to close this set out very very soon and scale. Oh, there it is. Give it about mm -hmm. There we go. Hey, man, I'm not saying the Sharp is out here saying, I want to go watch wrestling, but forces their way into grand finals. Um, you know, pulling out the Joker finally. So who knows? Going to get that run back against the against Jake that we